So what gave me the idea to do tutorials in the first place was my brother. And he was asking about rendering out of Vegas into DVD Architect, that that would be a really good idea for my first tutorial. That didn't happen, but I shot his wedding and I'm rendering it out and it just seems appropriate that this is the right time. So here we go. Uh, I already have his whole wedding rendered out into an AVI. Pretty basic. Now what I'm going to do is render out an intro that I've already created and I'm going to make that the menu page in DVD Architect. Now, so here I have my track marked in and out and then what I'm going to do is render it out as an MPEG because it's going to be the menu page. So what I chose to do because this is just standard 4.3 footage sorry brother uh, but so I will choose DVD architect NTSC we're in America here um, so that's the difference between PAL uh, European um, in some other countries you can look up a map and then there's uh, CCAM I think it's called maybe in Russia or over that way select the NTSC video stream and if you wanted to go in and you can kinda of customize your template if you wanted to get crazy but we are going to stick basic and um, you know you name it my brother's intro I've put it into my appropriate folder and then you'll say yes and you can render it out I've already done this and then because it's an MPEG, it will not have the audio along with it. So you have to go in and render out your audio separate. Um, you can do an AIF, an AC3, and that's just what I chose to do this time. And you would render that out. I have already done that. Now you go into your DVD architect. I'm going to create a new project. This menu will come up. If you want to make a single movie, you would do it right here. And then you can put in the DVD and maybe you would loop it. You know, um, maybe it's a trade show or something like that. And, oh, I just want this little clip looped, looped, looped. Well, some people will put it on the timeline and loop it a million times, but this is the way you would do it single movie you would go in set your properties that's not what I want to do today I want to make a menu base um, here you go if you wanted to change your um, 16.9 then you can do some rendering of you know 1440 files or 1080 and put them onto a standard definition DVD that's what I do but for today say yes. Um, I always delete this but if you wanted to make a basic menu page you could um, leave that and title it. I like to do this um, I don't know why I always do it for weddings put a little intro and actually Stan my boss he probably is the one who did it a uh, great job great idea so now I always do it to spice up my wedding DVDs, um, you know, school, uh, everything. So you just find the folder or the file that you've rendered. Here's mine. The audio, you want to change it, replace it. Here it is. I can see from the thumbnails down here that that's my video and I can see I've um, picked the right audio for the most part because it lines up. Now you right click up into this screen. You have your options. Um, what I'm going to do is basic right now. Insert media. Find my brother's wedding master, which is an EBI. Now it comes up um, defaulted with a thumbnail and the text. Right click, 
you can have these different styles, button styles, and I always do a text only. And now you can right click and say edit text, or you can see the shortcuts F2. And then I will just say play. You can, you know, adjust this by moving it. You can adjust your font and the size, which I like to do. Um, so here's play. And I'm going to insert a scene selection menu. Here's the title that you can put on each one, but I delete them, so I don't really care. Uh, standard definition, I will always go six, and then I'll do eight um, on widescreen. Pops up this box, and then uh, F2, and I'm gonna say chapters. Oops, but not enter. And then, oops. You can select both of them. Well, actually, I'm going to line it up a little bit first. And if it's in black like that, you can always kind of skip ahead and then you can see the grid and then you know that you know you kind of have it lined up okay select all of them and then you can say over here you know it will align it for you and then sometimes I will you know put it in the middle and kind of see where the middle is but, no, just, recenter that and then you can make the same width and make the same height so these boxes will you know when oops when people scroll over um, once this is in the DVD then it'll look um, you know these two boxes look identical which is nice and then at any time if you want to preview it and see what it would look like yeah. Ooh. That fade up is awful. So, <laughs> wait, let's see here. Let's preview it. And then that's actually what happens. See, I have my cursor down here. Hit preview. It previews it from the location. So, I'm sure that wasn't awful. It's I know it's good. I can see it faded up here. Before you go into chapters and start going crazy with all this, I do suggest um, previewing it. Just make sure that you have audio, everything synced up, and you go through this like... So we definitely know it's there. It's synced up. Now go into the chapters, and now you can start building. Uh, of course, they have all these defaults over here. You can use these, but I that one's that one's not bad. Typically, I will make my own. Okay, now I've taken a break, and I created a menu page in Photoshop and if you want to look at that real fast you could see how I did that um, okay so what I'll do is go into replace find my pictures And then I have a really nice um, light picture behind it. Now, because these are really um, not great chapters, let's say, it's not like it's a play where Act One or, you know, uh, maybe a graduation where you put individual names. So I'm just going to go image only and stretch them out after I've selected them all.
And you could just have, you know, one picture if you wanted to, but I like to have different ones for each. And this is a lot of fun if you're, um, you know, doing a montage for somebody. Just spice it up a little bit. So I'm going to move these around, which you can do if you have the text, you need to make sure that you grab them along with it. And then, you know, you can kind of eye it up. And then what you can also do is select those, say, you know, center and select those. Okay, so now that I have them all together, we will preview it. Okay, that works. And then we go into the chapters. Oh. Um, I have it on pause, so I don't know if that's why, but we'll just go back. No, I guess so. Well, I, that's never happened. So you do have to hit stop. I just don't want um, the menu page popping up and all of a sudden, you know, we all know. Okay, so preview that. Go into the chapters. Here we go. Um, and I'm going to test it. Hi, Ma. I love you. Now there's music behind this, and so um, I'm just going to go to a part where, okay, we know we're getting into. Give yourself unto Terry, to be his wife, who have to hold. Okay, doing great. Okay. Looking great. Next, next. I have everything ready. Okay, menu page. So the menu page, sometimes uh, I like to just have that thing loop and how you can do that is go into end action and it says here menu page properties. Say loop and then um, I'll do that with recruiting videos a lot. So then it will just, you know, like loop their info, loop their info, loop their info, you know, if that's what I do. Um, I guess a lot of times with recruiting videos, though, I will just make a single movie as well and loop that. Anywho, so now you just save out your project and you can make your DVD, but we'll just go over that it another time. So thanks so much. I hope you can make beautiful menu pages. There are a lot of other things you can do with it, and maybe I'll go over that too, like inserting submenus so you can have like a class one, class two, class three, class four go in and then have its own individual menu page per uh, class or however you would want to say group. Okay, thanks.